What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tip for you. So in today's video, we're gonna check out how to fix broken textures on complex faces in SketchUp. Um, today's video is brought to you by the SketchUp Essentials course. SketchUp Essentials course is my course that I created to uh, really get in-depth teaching you how to use SketchUp. So it goes from start to finish with over 14 hours of instruction, as well as a community forum where you can ask questions and live member calls where we can actually get on live and talk about any issues that you're having. So if that's something you're interested in, you can check it out at the sketchupessentials.com slash course. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so if you want to download this model and follow along, it's the Cape Lighthouse from Alex Keegan. I actually used this in another video earlier this week, but I noticed an issue with it and I uh, wanted to kind of walk you through it. So you can download this and follow along if you want to. And so what you might notice about this model, if we take a look at it, is when we look at this model, and I'm gonna jump back into perspective view just so it doesn't look weird, but um, one of the things you might have noticed is it's got this kind of like curving roof over here. Well, the problem with the curving roof over here is that the textures aren't placed on here properly. And so this is not something that the modeler did wrong. This is something having to do with the way that SketchUp actually looks at faces. So if we were to do a view hidden geometry, for example, and then look at this, notice how to make up this curved face SketchUp is basically segmenting this in order to create this smooth face. So if you were to turn hidden geometry back off, notice how you can select this whole thing, but it's really made up of those individual faces. Well, the problem is SketchUp doesn't know how to apply the material to these faces, right? So like you can see how it jumps just a little bit between this face and this face right here. And so there are some things you can do in SketchUp with projected textures that you could try to do, but I think you're gonna struggle with that. I don't think you're gonna quite get the result that you want. The fastest way to fix this is gonna be to download an extension called Fredo Tools. So you can go to the Sketchication Extension Store and uh, make sure that you've downloaded that and installed that. You can get that from sketchication.com. But specifically, you wanna look for Fredo Tools right here. It's gonna be the first option that shows up. You just wanna download Fredo Tools and install it. And so then you can just open up the Fredo 6 Tools tool set right here. And so yours will probably just have this button right here. It's basically a launcher for all the different tools contained inside of this tool set. So it's going to pop up this little window, right? And there's a number of different tools in here, which we can talk about in the future, but we want to focus on the option for through paint. And so what through paint is, is through paint is a tool from Fredo that's basically designed to figure out UV mapping of materials or mapping of materials on faces. And so notice how as I start mousing over different faces, it starts selecting the different faces and trying to figure out which face we're trying to work with. Well, what we wanna do with this tool is we wanna use the option for the sample material tool. So we're gonna click right here, sample this material. And so then once we've sampled this material, um, notice how that's now the active tool over here. We just want to click on this face right here. Notice how we're still having issues with the way that this is in here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try some of the other options for UV painting. So the first one we wanna try is the quad mesh UV. So we're just gonna select quad mesh UV and then just click on this face. And this actually worked fairly well, though there's one giant issue with this, which is the shingles are going the wrong way. So what we wanna to do to fix this is we just wanna click in here again and you're gonna get this little arrow in here. What the arrow is gonna do is that's gonna allow us to A, adjust how this sits on the face, but then you can also adjust the rotation. Or even better, there's an option up here for rotation. We just wanna click on the button for plus 90. All right, and so once you have this on this face, notice how this looks a lot better than it did before. And so one thing we might do with the SketchUp native paint, paint tool is we might come in here and we might just uh, unhide or unsoften this particular edge so that this is its own face. And then we'll probably come in here and just apply the regular shingle material over here so that it looks a little bit better. You could do some actual positioning of that with the SketchUp position texture tool 
as well if you wanted to just to make sure everything kind of aligns so it is going to be a little bit tricky just because you've got this weird angle in here but you could use maybe like fixed pins in order to adjust that a little bit to try to line it up with what you're seeing on this other face but now you can see how you are still getting a little bit of deformation in here that just has to do with the way this face works without coming in here and doing like a complex uv unwrapping thing with maybe something like sketch uv um, that's probably this is probably about the best result you're going to get um, and it's significantly better than what we had before. Um, notice how it didn't pick this up on this back face, so I would just select this and then just place it on the back face as well. All right, so notice how with this one edge, we're getting an error and it's not mapping it properly. So the reason for this is if we try to run this, notice how it gives us an error that this has more than four edges. Basically what that means is that means that this is just split into two edges for whatever reason, um, some kind of geometric issue. In this case, all we have to do is just erase that out and just draw a line back across. Notice how now this is gonna have four edges and the tool's gonna to work just fine. So then we can just select this, place this on the front, and call it good to go. So that's a quick way to fix texture mapping with Fredo tools. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. So if you want to learn how to use SketchUp, make sure you check out my course at thesketchupessentials.com slash course. I would love to have you in there and help you learn how to do SketchUp step by step. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.